Hey everybody, uh, a nice Saturday evening. Hopefully y'all having a good time. I want to do a quick shout out to those who've uh, been donating to me over the kind of past week. You've been really helping me survive and, you know, pay for transition. And if you like myself and want to, uh, you can find the links that are down in the comments. This should be the pinned comment. So let's get to this take. So throughout my studies, right, of history, um, from the point of like, like towards the end of college and to now, and maybe a little bit earlier, there are very few things I've learned about white people historically that hasn't made me uh, really like be fond of them. You know, and the more I learn about what white people have done in the, this country to my people, both in the government and as a set of citizens, has is not not left the good taste in my mouth. Moreover, the more I look and watch current events, and and I'm plugged into the the kind of like the un mass unconscious, the less I can sh even know how different this current group are from their ancestors, because it seems very much like none. And. You know, I, you get to a point, at least I got to a point, where I thought I've hit the maximum, right? I felt like I've hit as much as I can go in just not liking y'all. And then I learn, like, within a day, like, this has been more, this has been maybe a little bit over 24 hours. I've learned that the documents to my ancestors probably exist somewhere out in some white person's, you know, fucking trash heap of papers, that they're holding on to this. And for reference, let me tell you what, the, what that means. Why that's meaningful, if at all. If you're black, you know, and if you're not black, you're probably about to learn. There's something called the wall. And when you ever try to look up your history as any type of person, right? And then you whether you use Ancestry.com or you go look in old census files or whatever data you try to use. If you're black, unlike other people, if you're black within America... You are going to reach a certain point in time, typically around the past the 1870s, where there is no data. There can be no records for you to find. And for the most part, you don't really know what's what's gone there. You, you, unless you have a very good oral tradition within your family, you might not know where you come from. Or at least the, the period of time before 1870s. Um and, you know, a lot of us, for a lot of us, it's unfair. I know when I learned that, I was doing Ancestry with my dad, and we hit that block. And I was, like, 13 at the time, and, you know, we I, I accepted it at that point, but it did definitely did make me feel a little sore. Because you see it, right? You see on, on, on commercials where these white people say, like, oh, well, you know, my ancestors are royalty in Scotland in the 1600s. And then... You, you know, you looking at uh, yourself is like, wow, you get to go back to the 1600s. People can go back so far. But for us, it's just no, not the case. So, you know, a lot of us have to deal with that sort of pain and just like move on and live with that. And it's it's it's, it's upsetting to know that you can't figure out where you come from and who you are in that sense. You know, and, and for personal things, my mom on my mom's side can only trace back to her grandmother. That's it. That's as far as it goes. There is. Nothing else that we could even find to figure that out. So when I figured out yesterday that it exists, it's there, more than likely, somewhere out there. And some white person has it. And worse, they're holding on to it because of some weird uh, affliction they have with allowing black people to be reconnected with their, with their ancestry, with their culture, and with... What it like and, and, and with their lineage. When I figured that out, that that's probably more than likely the case, the ceiling on how much I can't stand y'all, the ceiling on my anger, I thought which was like, no, I maxed out. It opened and now it's almost boundless. And for many of y'all who may not understand this, you may not understand why I'm so angry, why I'm so like ticked off, how hurt that is. But honestly, I don't think there's really anything to explain because either you understand it or you don't. But for those of you who can't understand and can't feel my pain, I, I you know, I, you know what I'm talking about. Just like I have gotten 
I, I, as, as much as I've, as, as I've, as I've progressed in this, I've pro we're progressing more. But I will say this, though. I'm getting those documents. That's for sure. 